For 15 years, 60 Minutes has exposed cruelty in the live export trade. Our preference is to work with the company rather than to just cut it off. Oh, so you can kill as many animals our as you right, like. Our, our right. Up against a secretive industry operating with enthusiastic government support, our reporter, the late Richard Carlton, battled to uncover the truth. Minister May, I suggest to you it's not very helpful talking to you if you won't reveal the number of dead when the owners of the ship have posted a figure on their website, and yet you're trying to keep it secret. I am not trying to keep it secret. Now, Faisal Ullah's videos mean the exporters can't hide any longer. The physical act of filming, was it a dangerous thing to do? It was dangerous. But you kept going? Yeah. I thought to make this thing clear to the Australian people and to the Australian government so that they should know that their laws are being breached, their regulations are being breached. That was quite harrowing. Uh, to be honest, it shocked me to the core. Faisal's footage came as a bolt from the blue in Canberra. Recently, Agriculture Minister David Littleproud replaced the live export industry's biggest cheerleader, Barnaby Joyce. You know what, if people are doing the wrong thing, we don't want them. We don't want them in the industry. They don't need to be there. Because you know what, that impacts those family farms out there, those people that are doing the right thing. They're kids. They're kids that want a future. That's being impacted by them. So you know what, if, if you're not up to the standard, get out, bugger off. We don't want you. Uh, and, and I intend to make sure that we do that. Clearly the regulator does have the power, but your bureaucrats, your department, have been collectively sitting on their shiny bums in Canberra doing nothing. Well, you know what? No one's beyond reproach in this, and I don't give a rats. I'm going to go and make sure the sun shines in on this. Uh, it's too important to us to not get this right. But in the West, where sheep are loaded, the state Labor government wants to invoke its own cruelty laws against the exporters. WA's Agriculture Minister, Alana McTiernan, says Canberra has been all talk and no action. At a political level in Canberra, the, the message has been, we are great supporters of, of live export. We want to go through the motions with these regulations, but we're really not serious. This whole expose has come about through a whistleblower. Yep. If it wasn't for him, we'd, we'd still be in the dark. Exactly. You know what? I thank them for that. And you know what? We've got to create, I've got to create an environment where whistleblowers, individuals feel comfortable coming forward and raising this straight away with officials. That they know that the action's going to be taken, it's going to get investigated properly, and, and there's going to be consequences if someone's done the wrong thing. The Minister's new broom will get its first sweep when the Awasi Express begins another voyage from Fremantle this week. It must carry fewer animals and an independent inspector reporting back daily to Canberra. The exporter is, once again, Emmanuel Exports, run by Graham Dawes. If that exporter is found to have breached the standards, as his own industry admits to us, what will happen? There's a range of penalties from suspension to full loss of licence to criminal charges, as I understand it, have been advised. Just excuse me for shaking my head for a moment, because effectively you're giving the industry one more chance. Well, this exporter in particular is, is getting uh, um, the opportunity to, to sail. There's an investigation going on about his conduct. So yeah, This exporter? This particular exporter. This exporter is a serial offender? Yeah. Gee, you're a generous man. Well, he lost 2,500 sheep last August, and the August before that he lost 3,000, yeah. and you're giving him another chance. I can't change history. I can only influence the future. And you know what? I'm determined to do that and put those sheep, that if they do go uh, on Monday morning, uh, in, the, in the safest possible hands I possibly can. Late last week, that exporter, Graham Dawes, issued a statement saying his companies will work in a fully cooperative manner with the regulator and reduce the number of sheep on summer voyages. The Live Exporters Council also signalled it will make urgent improvements. As for Faisal Ullah, the brave young Pakistani whistleblower, he knows he'll be blacklisted from ships forever. All he wants is for Australians, especially farmers, to see the truth. The farmers who raise these sheep, what do you think they would think if they were on these voyages? They will not allow even a single sheep out of their farms for this export, for this industry. 
Generally, all Australians will not allow this threat. Nobody from Australia will allow this threat to continue. While Minister Littleproud assures us his inquiry into the cheap export industry will be thorough, 60 Minutes won't let the issue be swept under some bureaucratic carpet. Hard-working Australian sheep farmers are owed answers and action. We also need to ensure the brave whistleblower, Faisal Ullah, is protected. His video speaks for itself. We'll keep you updated on all developments.